Hello YouTube, it's Joe Gas here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation untethered on Windows. Now this works for XP and Vista. If you want to know how to do it on Mac, just click on the video description, click on that link, and you should go to a Mac video. Um, I am using a flip video recorder, and that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, whatever. But this is my iPod. As you can see, it is not jailbroken. I don't have Cydia on it. It's never been jailbroken before because it's a new iPod. My first iPod that was jailbroken broke. Um, it didn't break because of it. Something happened inside the iPod. The volume thing something a piece was missing so I had to return it but it's not a system problem so don't get nervous so we're gonna get started with the downloads what you're gonna want to do is go in the video description and download a program called quick freedom now go in the video description to do this go on more info and click on the link I'm, I sound stupid describing it, but my friend went to quickfreedom.com not knowing you could click more info and it deleted his Wi-Fi connected from his computer. So obviously he went to a virus website, so you're going to have to go in the description. Also, my kitten's right there, but that's a different story. So let's get to this. Um, yeah. Now, we're going to have our iPod pluck, plugged in, alright? Open up Quick Freedom, and it should look like this. Now we're just going to click Jailbreak. All right, lib install, lib USB. Windows XP, just click on that. Windows Vista, just click on that. Now once you've installed it for XP, you're fine. For Vista, you're going to have to go down to the Start menu and type in lib USB and it should be there you're gonna have to right click that go down to properties and right here where it says compatibility on the top tab you're gonna have to run this pro you're gonna have to click the check mark in and go down to windows xp um quotation um whatever server pack 2 and then click apply and then okay but i already have that applied now, um, we're going to have to click download right here. What this is doing is downloading us a firmware. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry. I just had to download the um, 2.2.1 firmware. To do that, you're just going to click download here. It's going to take you to a new window and you should be able to download it. Browse and go to where you downloaded it to. Alright. Now, you're just going to want to click on next. And right here, you're going to go to create firmware. Oh, actually, you're going to want to cancel that. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to highlight install installer and then use custom boot logo. Now, here you can choose what you want your boot logo to be. That means when you turn it off and turn it back on, the, the image like the little apple image that pops up you could change what that says there's a lot there's the um linux penguin you know that pwned a rainbow one you know of nice ones you could use a custom but don't try that it could mess it up and it usually never works um so i'm just gonna choose one that i like um i like this rainbow apple i'm just gonna go with that and click ok now you want to create you want to click create firmware this might take a while so i'm going to pause the video again and get back to you when that's done all right guys so we're done and um i created the firmware so now what you're going to want to do is just go on to next all right now we're going to want to put our ipod in dfu mode if you don't know how to do this, click on DFU instructions or just listen to what I'm going to have to tell you. What you're going to have to do is take your iPod, um, it could be on, whatever, but hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. Then, once you hold it for 10 seconds, count slowly, 
um, wait like about a second, release the top, release the power button, and keep on holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Um, your computer should like make the beeping noises saying it's indicating and unindicating a um, USB. That should be okay, and then there should be a pop up. And once you've done that, you're gonna go to start pre jailbreak. So let's put it in the DFU mode, guys. I'm gonna set my iPod down, uh, not my iPod, my thing down, and let's just get started. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's in DFU mode. To know that it's in DFU mode, it should simply say iPod connected in DFU mode. So we're just going to minimize that, and iTunes should pop up. Um. Just click OK. And now what we're gonna have to do is under the on the quick freedom we're gonna have to click on start pre-jailbreak. Look at my iPod screen and it should turn white. Just wait for a second and normally iTunes should pop up and it did. An iPod is detected in recovery mode, okay? Whatever. Um so, yes, iPod successfully put in the pre jailbreak mode. Now restore your custom firmware in iTunes. The file is located <coughs> on your desktop. Alright, well thank you very much for locating that for me. <laughs> Alright, so next. And now we're going to get to the awesomeness part. It should get a new thing on your desktop called custom firmware. Um, now, this is a firmware. The firmware you made. So we're going to go to iTunes. And what we have to do is hold the, re the shift key, okay? And while we're holding the shift key, we have to click restore. Now what that should do is put a window up and we have to go in the desktop and choose our custom firmware now it should be this one click that click open now it's extracting the software okay guys my ipod has been restored sexful sex <laughs> sexfully <clears throat> successfully and there's the rainbow apple it's turning on and there you go it's going on to iTunes and just put this on my on my restore it to my old thing so now when I go on it it'll pop up this message click dismiss boom you got Cydia and installer right there it's successfully jailbroken, and that's about it, guys. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it helped. If you have any problems, you know, just message me or comment below. And also, um, never mind. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. Next. X out of quick freedom and it should be done all right guys well thanks for watching and please comment rate and subscribe and you gotta say hi to my kid say hi okay guys bye